Kane, what are you looking at? I'm trying to see what the moon looks like up close. Well then, you need some sort of brilliant invention that lets you see things that are really far away. Like these. Nope. Try this instead. Nope. Try using them together. Still no good. Cormac, you know when you said we need some kind of brilliant invention so that we can see things that are really far away? Yes. Did you mean a telescope? Yes, a telescope. Hey, we should do a dance about telescopes. That's a great idea. I wonder who invented them. I don't know. But we know someone who will. Auntie B. I'll go see what she says. Auntie B. Thanks, Cormac. I'm having a sort my glasses day. What can I do for you? I'm here to ask you about an invention. And now I've forgotten what it's called. I do know it ends in a scope. Is it? A stethoscope? No, sorry. Mm. OK, what does this invention do? You look at things through it. <gasps> a microscope? No, not a microscope. Is it a periscope? No. Hey, what's a periscope? It lets you see things that are high up or around corners. Oh, yeah. Cormac, were you thinking of a telescope? Yes, that's it, a telescope. Do you know who invented the telescope? Two children. <laughs> Two children? Really? Well, sort of. The story goes that the inventor of the telescope had the idea while watching <laughs> children play. Can you guess what his job was? I love guessing games. Was he a doctor? No. I'll give you a clue. It has to do with eyes. What are you doing? No, sorry Cormac, I can't hear your snorkel. Was he a diver? No. Remember, it's got to do with telescopes. Was he a pirate? No. He was a glasses maker. Huh. This is Hans Lippershe. Long ago, over 400 years ago, he had a shop that was full of lenses for glasses. Like this? Yes. Now, some lenses make things look bigger or magnify them. And some lenses make things look smaller or shrink them. The story goes that one day there were two children in Hans's shop and one child held up the magnifying lens and the other child held up the shrinking lens. And Hans noticed that when you look through the two of them together, it makes things look even bigger. That's brilliant, Auntie B. But what's it got to do with telescopes? Aha! Leave it to me. I'm Auntie B. Auntie B, you made a telescope. That's what the glasses maker Hans did. He made a tube with a magnifying lens on one end and a shrinking lens on the other end. And that may have been the very first telescope. Hi, Kian. What a great telescope, Auntie P. Hey, I think it's time for a brilliant, brilliant invention, invention fact. Brilliant invention fact. Yeah! Did you know there's an underwater telescope? It allows us to see what's going on underwater without getting too wet. 
It was invented by a woman called Sarah Mather over 150 years ago. Now it's not actually a telescope as it doesn't magnify, but it's a brilliant invention that we still use today. Brilliant invention. Not a microscope, not a stethoscope, not a periscope, it's telescope. You know, Cormac, some telescopes use mirrors to make things look bigger. Your head looks huge! That's because this is a curved mirror, and curved mirrors can magnify things. What does a telescope with a mirror look like? Would you like to see one? I would! Now, take a look inside. The light comes in this big hole here and then it reflects off that curved mirror at the bottom and into your eye here. So what can you see with this telescope? Una, show reflecting telescope images. Showing reflecting telescope images. Look how close the moon is. Kian would love that. With a reflecting telescope, we can see all sorts of things, like the moon, our stars, our galaxies far, far away. 